Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And I know I wanted to make a video for uh, like females that are being gang stalked. Now, one of the things about gang stalking is this: is <clears throat> don't ever let somebody truly approach you. Now, the gang stalking program is psychological and spiritual. It's not physical. I don't really truly believe in my heart that somebody's physically in danger and they're being gang stalked. But nevertheless, don't ever let somebody just walk up to you and approach you, like get close to you. See me. You know, because of my size, I'm big, so it's different for me. But if you're a smaller person, there's a few things you can do without truly hurting the person. You can, you can, you can, um, you can put that person in, in a position where they're no longer a threat to you without actually hurting that person. Now, or you can just, you know, I mean, if you feel in danger, you can go ahead and hurt them. But one of the things you can do is, is grab somebody like this. Grab them by their shirt or grab them by their shoulders or something and use your body weight and pull them towards you real quick and then like that just throw them just, just grab them just like if somebody if I saw somebody approaching me you know and I look at their shoulders if their shoulders flex then I know they're, they, they're thinking about punching me or they're leaning at me depending on how many feet are away I'm probably just gonna grab them real quick and pull them towards me as hard as I can and just boom and throw them back and then, and then just you know if I feel like it jump on top of them and go to work. But <clears throat> another thing you can do is in, in most in most situations where people are doing combat, they fight like this. They punch like this. When I was younger, I, I took a I took Kung Fu classes, uh, Wing Chun. Um, and basically, the shortest distance between two points is always a straight line. And so if you punch, if you punch like this, like this, that's gonna that's gonna get closer. That's gonna that's gonna like if somebody's coming at me and they're going like this, like this, all I gotta do is see what I'm saying? You it's a straight line. And then if I wanna block it, just go like this. See what I mean? So if somebody's approaching me, I wouldn't go like this, or like this. I just quick I was like, oh, oh no. You know what I mean? Just real quick straight line. And you hit it, you know, you put your fist like this. And you, you can you can do that real quick. You know, just, so, you know, I and then grab them, throw them, you can mix it up. You can do different stuff. But I would encourage people to not engage in physical violence and to just, um, you know, walk away. Somebody's taunting you or something like that. Like the gang stalking program has taught me a lot of discipline. It's taught me how to accept that things aren't personal. It's just, you know, pretty much just business. And so, you know, I I would never encourage somebody to um, violently hurt somebody else. But I just put this up for women. Like, you know, I mean, for a lot of women in karate class, they teach you if somebody grabs your hand, to twist your hand. See, somebody my size, if I grab your hand, you're not going to be able to twist out of that. So what you would do is you would just quick step on my foot or, or quick, you know, kick me in the balls or something. Or you would use your finger and jab my eye. Just jab, just, just, just jab the eye. You know, if I approach you, I'm probably approach you for your phone number. You know, not the phone number. I'm approaching you for the address. Damn it. You know what I mean? I want to come over. But, but anybody else, if they're violently approaching you, you use your fingers and eyes and stuff like that. And there's a guy out there um, who's being gang stalked, and he's been drugged and stuff. And he he's a, he he. I would consider him an expert martial artist. His name is Sid Jackson. S I D J A C K S O N. And he he. <clears throat> I, I would say I would I would um you know I would say I would say that he he definitely is um very 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 effective uh, in his training and his skills. I mean when, the, when he throws punches he looks like he just came out of a Shaolin temple. You know he he's raw. He's definitely raw. And uh so you know there's, there's a lot of things you do. I know I know a lot of women feel vulnerable man. Like if I had two three guys my size just 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 walk up to me and I was a woman. And, and you know I'm, I'm a female, and these guys are all bigger than me, and I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, you know, it's a vulnerable situation, and it's good to have a backup plan. So things, so things like what I, what I was talking about using your body weight, you can do that. Pull somebody towards you, throw them. If somebody comes in you with a punch, like if they come in, like if somebody came into me trying to grab me, I can just grab and take them down to the ground, or I can just take their arm and pull their arm and throw them back, or throw them back. You know what I mean? Like that. And so there's, there's a lot of different things you can do. I used, I used to take martial arts on and off for years. And so I'm starting to get back into that. I'm going to start 
even in my mind, I can remember katas and stuff like that. You know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, um, as I lose this weight, I'm going to start getting back into that. <sighs> and so, you know, I just encourage people to, you know, stay, try to eat right and stay physical and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it is what it is.